Greetings, it is Camps in the Oracle, one whole of Remnants Gathering, aka Weirdo Gang Gang, where we don't try to fit in, we appreciate that we stand out. So, in light of all of the work that we're doing in the collective shadow work and the support group for Mindset Reset Shame Detox, I want to detox myself of the shame of my path of being a Christian. I just want you all to see that five years ago, I dreamed about the pink moon and that was the very first time I dreamed about this. And shout out to my Dark Goddess University sacred family. They put me on to this today with the queen. So I wanted you to see this and towards the end of this video, I'm gonna decode this from my perspective now, post awakening, but I'm gonna let you hear what I thought it was pre-awakening. And yes, I'm going to bring it all together. So let's do a little time travel together today. Something a little fun. And I want to break down what this is, what's going on. And I know some of y'all already know what's going on. However, we're going to go ahead and get into it because I saw this five years ago. Exactly what the queen did for Jubilee is exactly what I saw, except people were doing it in their own homes with the lights and the trees. family this is Camson from Remnants Gathering and Camson's window seat and here's another dream that I want to share with you all I dreamed of a pink planet and strangely enough I didn't think it to be a big deal but I had someone come to my channel and said hey I clicked on your channel because I dreamed about a pink planet a massive pink planet um, I had a dream that I was standing next to a huge pink planet you know it has to be a divine connection when two people who don't know each other have the same dream um so i kind of want you all to help me figure out what was this about could this be the lawless one announcing his coming now i know i've read that native americans spoke about this pink moon and it was named not because of the color but named because of a certain wildflower that's pink that grows that time of the year so it's an agriculture thing that's understandable and that's great but I've never heard of a pink moon and I kind of had an obsession with American Indians being that my grandmother was American Indian herself. Um, so I don't find that to be true. But second Thessalonians talk about the coming of the lawless one and the activity of Satan and the false signs and wonders that he would do. This reminds me of the blood moon. This has to be a false sign and wonder. Um, what do you think? Scripture talks about watching the sky um, for the signs and the sun, moon, and stars. Scripture also speaks of when Christ was born, the star of Bethlehem appeared. And that's how the three magis, which are magicians, that's another topic for later. But the three magis knew that he had been born because of the signs in the sun, moon, and stars. So could this be pointing to the birth of something? Could this be pointing to the, the dragon, the Antichrist? Could this have really been another tetrad of, of, of forms? Because there are more eclipses coming up. Disciples about preparing for the Passover. Jesus said the following. And he said unto them, behold, when you are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water follow him into the house where he entereth in. The symbol for Aquarius is a man carrying a pitcher of water. This current biblical tetrad, in my opinion, is part of a global shift in consciousness and will be accompanied by many earth-shaking changes. We are in the apocalypse, which simply means the lifting of the veil. December 21st, 2012, 
was not a single day event. It marked a time period of transition. A period in time also marked by the Hindus with the Kali Yuga, St. Malachi's Pope prophecy, the Hopi prophecy of the coming fifth world, the prophecy of Hermes Trismegistus, the Zoroastrian prophecies, the age of meeting ourselves again that the Incas talked of, and the Kala Chakra teachings of the Tibetan predicting the coming of the Golden Age. September 2015. Queen is now, coming see, out with me is, is our there. Royal Correspondent Rhiannon Mills and she's come from Cuba. the Monarch's Saturn. door. Saturn. Saturn. Right? Sovereign's entrance, yes. Reality. Reality. Really got it right. And she it's clear that there green. was one green final the duty of, of the day that the Queen also did the not want to delegate money. and that was starting off the lighting of what is going to be the principal beacon here at Buckingham Palace. Now we're told it's going to be a rather elaborate light display. The Queen certainly looks a little bemused about what she's meant to do in the next few moments. But I think she will walk mm -hmm. forward yeah, this and is a whole press that globe right here for that abundance. is placed in front but of her, which will who then trigger because the this world lighting is changing display really fast. The paradigm and is shifting. We're the lights Pluto will in essence travel here to London. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I think. You see the lights? Mm-hmm. Looks just like the Caduceus, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. The two serpents? Mm-hmm. Divine feminine and masculine rising up the Kundalini activations? Mm-hmm. We see that, but do you see the DNA? Mm-hmm, yeah, we see that too. And remember in the dream, I saw pink lights on trees. Here we go, pink lights on trees, the pink lights and the trees. What is this representing? Do you see the DNA wrapped around the tree? Can you see the tree of life? Can you see you? This is about you. And there we and have it, awakening. the principal beacon lit now up here this tree, outside of my two towers. And I believe that those are symbolic of the towers and also the bodies of those emitting a very specific frequency from having MRNA edited can become a beacon. And what is that beacon summoning to planet Earth under this pink moon in Sagittarius? Drop a comment below and let me know what you think. What's your decoding? Man, your third eye has just been kissed. Peace and power. KKP on the beat. KKP on the beat. KKP on the beat.